hello lovelies good morning good afternoon good evening depends where you're watching from at this moment of the day we remain global message tv really i'm grateful and i'll continue to thank all of you for your consistency in watching following liking sharing to every other people to watch and subscribe and i pray in the same way you promote our youtube channel by doing all this that God Almighty will bring those who will patronize your own business in whatever you do. Amen. Okay, remember that uh, two days ago I made a video where um, Hope Ozodema, when he was addressing uh, his caucus, uh, party, you know, man, uh, for the primaries ahead of the APC for the Okiwe Zone, uh, senatorial uh, uh, gap or space that they want to fill. Now, in that particular meeting, Hopo Zodema made mention of uh, two or three requests over they came to him and they pleaded for, which he debunked. Okay, but... Uh, Owole had came here now to say something about this. Let us, and before I say or read out what uh, Owole Media Men wrote, I want us to hear one comment uh, Richard Sokorocha made here. Um, he said that, uh, that, uh, that, um, what's his name? The governor of Himo State, Hope Ozarima that uh, he had a government of APC in name, but PDP in action. So he said PDP is in action. Why he just had the um, government of APC in name. So guys, what do you think about what he just said? Does it mean that uh, Hope Ozodema is really uh, being controlled by the PDP or using PDP people to work. This is exactly what uh, Owole alleged him here. But let's not just go into that. Let us uh, see what Owole said uh, on this com particular comment the governor of Imo State made. Okay, let's read it. Former governor of Imo State and senator representing Imo West. Senator Rocha Sokorocha has faulted the comment credited to Hope Ozodema that he fell out with him because he refused to disband pro panels, allow Daniel Noafo to continue as APC chairman in Imo State, and record sack local government chairman. So let's hear him. In recent Okay, in a release by Sam Awe Medo, spokesman of uh, to Senator Okorocha, he denied making such requests. Owole said he didn't say all those. And he never requested all those from uh, um, Hope Ozodema, Governor Hope Ozodema. He denied making such requests, wondering why a supposed APC governor would be acting as agent of the opposition PDP in the state. <laughs> you had it again. His release <laughs> read enter earlier. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. I'm a state governor, Senator Hope Uzodema, and uh, he's claimed uh, his claims against uh, Senator Rocha Sokorocha. Okay, let's see what, see what they said here. The government in Imo State is APC in name, but PDP fashion in structure. And in actions. The governor, Senator Hope Uzodema, was reported to have made the following claims against Senator Rogers Okorocha. Number one, that Okorocha asked him to dissolve the pro panel set up against him by Chief Emeka Inherioha, that's immediate past uh, Governor of Imo State. B, the Okorocha asked him, that Okorocha asked him, to retain Mr. Daniel Mwafo as the state chairman of APC because of his 
2023 presidential ambition. C. That Okorocha asked him to recall the SAC elected local government chairman. D. The governor was said to have made these claims at a meeting of APC stakeholders at the government house where another vote of confidence was passed on him. One week after those who branded themselves stakeholders had also passed votes of confidence on him in Abuja. A few remarks before reacting to this issue. The governor had raised number one. Senator Rocha Sokracha has no problem with the governor who opposed him. The governor is the one creating problems of himself. Okay? The governor is the one creating problems for himself and also inventing problems where they do not exist. His latest media attack on Okorocha is one example of such ugly developments. The government in Imo State, as we speak, or as we write, is APC in name, but totally PDP fashion in structure and in actions. The governor has not done anything to show that he is of APC and that his government is that of APC. The government is Camp Hope. Look at what he called it. The government is Camp Hope government made up of those who were with him in his own fashion of the PDP. Third, he was inaugurated in January 2020 as governor. The key or the main stakeholders of APC in the state and their supporters were all at the inauguration, including Rocha Sokorocha, Ifanya Rume, Uchemosu, ETC. But few weeks after the inauguration, the governor made his appointments of about 106 people, including commissioners. He never deemed it necessary to bring in at least one known APC member in the state to make the list. The man he appointed secretary to the state government, Chief Cosmos Iwu, junior brother of the former INEC chairman, Professor Morris Iwu, is a PDP member and was also in the same position during the previous PDP government in the state. His chief of staff, Chief Namde Anyehe, was the state chairman of his own fashion of the PDP in the state. The man he gave Adam Oshomole to be made the chairman of the caretaker committee of APC. Chief Marcellinus Lemibu was one time chairman of PDP in the state. We can go on and on to name of to name them. Number five, Okorocha also asked the eight APC core members in the state who Adam Oshomole had forced to move to Action Alliance AA for the House of Assembly election who also won to go back to APC, which they did. Senator Ifai Ararome asked the six members on the ticket of ABGA to also move to APC. They did, which made the APC to have the majority in the state House of Assembly with few other PDP members who moved to APC. But what has the governor done in appreciation of all these gestures? Number six. Those who use him to fight Okorocha and put a deep cut in APC in Imo State have not relented 
I have not relented for reasons Imo people and Nigerians in general know. Those people are not from Imo. They think they have annexed the state through the governor. They think they have annexed the state through the governor. But time will tell. Daniel Oma Force, chairmanship of APC. Yeah. Time will tell. They think that they have annexed the state. That is Imo state. The people are not from here. So who are they? So Will is still battling with uh, Adam Sashomole. He's still battling with the federal people who installed the uh, Hopo Zorema. If you don't hear it well now, if you don't understand it now, that is what Owole is saying. He's indirectly calling the same name people are calling. He's indirectly saying that uh, Hopo Zorema is even imposed and they stored in Imo. He is not supposed to be the one there. He said that the people engineering him, using him, remoting him, they are not from Imo states. They think they have uh, they have honest Imo. That is, they have to be wherever they are to rule in Imo and to control Imo. That's exactly what he's saying. So, from this, guys, I don't. I think you we can deduce that uh, there is war now in APC, and uh, if care is not taken. Hope Uzodema will not last more than one tenor. I am saying it because from what Tawole is saying here now, he was able to, you know, um, through the help of either Shumela or his own boys, convince a a a people. Sorry, not even no Shumela. He said oh, Shumela and uh, um. Hope Zorema made some of the APC people to join AA, contested under the platform of AA, and won, you know, into the House of Assembly. But himself being Owole, pleaded with them and convinced them to decamp back to uh, APC, which they did. Also, um, Arurume, Arurume spoke with uh, other people from Abga. Who won on that platform of Abga to uh, House of Assembly? And they equally come to APC, which made APC today to have majority member in the House of Assembly. Yet, Hope Uzorima does not uh, seem those things to be a great job done by these two men. But, guys, I'm <laughs> if Owele uh, Richard Sokorocha and the other Rubes should join force and uh, Fight, uh, um, hope was at him. I think uh, he will not last on that seat. Talk more of uh, going for the second tenor. If these two people join their force and the uh, PDP also uh, come on their own side, I think, um, he will not so in fact, he will not survive on that seat. It's gonna be one time tenor, one time tenor, you know. One time governor, sorry, and one tenor governor in Imo State. That seat, I think, is still hot as we are talking right now because the, for him to be fighting these two men that made him to be there now, because I know it was when both of them, three of them, had a meeting and came back, went to Supreme Court with the Power of uh, for the support of Adam Sushomele and uh, Abakere, he was able to make it there he is today. So if he is now biting these uh, fingers that failed him, uh, what do you think that is going to happen to um, Senator Hope uh, Ozarema? So guys, I um, think I'm leaving that for you to tell me. So what do you think about that? So another person I think uh, wrote something on this also um let me see well, a lot of people have been saying a lot of things concerning what is happening in apc and uh, 
uh, I don't think uh, it's, it's going to be easy or for what uh, his um, what's his name the governor of human states so that's it my people and uh, there is another thing let's say what uh, um, what he says here okay this is exactly uh hope Zodema repeating himself he said two big requests to culture made from me which i rejected so what are they he said the culture through the okay his reasons for not even uh allowing a culture on his uh, request said the culture ruled the state between 2011 and 2019 under the ruling of progressive uh, congress apc governor ozodema is also a member of the same apc but in the run up to 2019 general election, Okorocha backed his son-in-law, Uchemosu, to succeed him and oppose the candidacy of Uzodema. However, it turned that Uzodema emerged the APC candidate against Okorocha's wish. Okay, but at the end of the day, Emeka Hedohan of the PDP, uh, People Democratic Party, PDP was declared the winner of the election by the independent national electoral commission INEC, and he was sworn as in as a governor few months later in was sacked by the supreme court which declared Zodema being himself the authentic winner of the emo election he said authentic winner so guys what do you think about that the decision by the apex court led to kick Yes, the decision by the Apex Court led to kicks and protests, but Uzorema remains the governor. Okay, before his sack, Nihedoha had set up a panel to probe the administration of Okorocha. Okorocha kicked against that, but Nihedoha did not stop. But after Nihedoha's sack, Uzorema took over. At the beginning, it was as if Okorocha and Ozodema were having a smooth relationship. But lately, it is now clear that the two politicians have issues that are causing face off between them. Governor Ozodema decided to disclose the two major reasons why Okorocha is angry with him, which are the main causes of the facts of between the two of them. First, Ozodema revealed that one of the reasons Okorocha is angry with him is because he refused Okorocha's request to dissolve the panel investigating him. The panel was set up by Ihedoha to probe Okorocha. Okorocha requested that Ozodema should dissolve the panel after he took over. But Ozodema turned down Okorocha's request and allowed the panel to carry on with its investigation on the activities of Okorocha's administration. According to Ozodema, he refused Okorocha's request to dissolve the panel because he felt that the mood of Imo people was in support of the probe of Okorocha's administration. Yes, that was his major reason. That's what he said. Okay, look at the second one. Second, Okorocha requested that Ozodema should allow Dan Wafo to remain chairman of APC in the state. Wafo is referred by Okorocha for preferred, sorry, by Okorocha for some reasons best known to him. However, it may not go down well with some powers that be in the state's APC. In fact, Governor Ozodema told the APC leaders in the state at their meeting that he refused this particular 
request made by Okorocha, adding that the party the party rules should be followed on the issue. The governor further revealed that Okorocha made this second request so that it would help him have his way for his 2023 presidential ambition. Although Okorocha denied asking Ozodema to stop investigation by the panel set by the Inheda, he stated that he asked for an impartial panel as the one set up by Inheda was dominated by PDP members and he believes he would not get justice from the panel. Okorocha added that he kept his promise to both God and man very well and used the resources of the state judiciously during his eight years in the power as governor. Why Okorocha and Ozodema? Why Okorocha? Why? Sorry. Okay, why Okorocha and Ozodema face off Melinga? See why it Melinga? As alleged by Ozodema, Okorocha most likely has other political ambitions that could be the reason he made requests for the governor allow one for who is his ally to remain the apc chairman in the state as a person with other political ambitions okoracha will be interested in having influence in the apc structure in the state but ozodema does not want to allow him to have that kind of control so that's why they are fighting and fighting. Also, if Uzodema allows him more influence, Okorocha may likely make more big requests. <laughs> Moreover, Uzodema did not forget in a hurry that Okorocha and his son-in-law were to oppose him in the run up to the 2019. Governor, governor up to the 2019 governorship election. So having won despite all the many oppositions he faced he faced from uh, okorocha and his camp Uzodema will mostly not allow okorocha to wield over bearing influence on him or on the apc structure in the states again he would not want to help okorocha to escape probe in any way that's what he said he would not want to allow okorocha to face he would want to allow okorocha to face the music if okorocha is innocent that's what uh, um, the governor of him is saying now that is fine if he is indicted then he should face the prosecution and the consequences of the action Okorocha knows all this and now he wants to have a face off with Ozorema as other options seem to have failed. The face off may last longer than expected because two big weeks politicians are involved and they have big differences to settle. Here we have it. Comment, share. Thank you. So, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on what uh, I've read out here and what we have said? What are your thoughts on this article? Feel free to drop your comments and let us know what you think about it. Share to other people. If you have not subscribed, please do. So tell me what you think about uh, the governor of Imo State, Hopo Zodema. Is it going to last? Do you think um doing all these things to <laughs> Owele and Dararume and all the rest of them um we favor him and do you think he will be able to make it four plus four which is eight that is two tenor let me know what you think about this god bless you keep sharing watching and subscribing